Hello guys, welcome to my kit videos. Thanks for checking out my channel. And um, today we are going to show you how to assemble the automatic egg tray. Okay, what we have here is the automatic egg tray for quills. Okay, for quill eggs. All right. So I'm going to pause for a while and then kindly subscribe. <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for subscribing. So when you buy the automatic egg tray, this is how it comes, okay, wrapped like this. And all you are going to need to do this is the screwdriver, okay? Alright, this screwdriver I have here. Okay, so I'm going to unwrap it. And you can use this for dab eggs, pigeon eggs, all right, and all those small eggs of that size. And I think carrot eggs also, yeah, yeah. So, when you buy this, is what you should get, all right. These are the side supports. These are the side supports. And then the side supports. The side supports for the bees, all right. Okay, they are supposed to be two, okay. So, yes, you should have two side supports for the bees also. Then you have this um, triangle looking thing, all right. And then you have six of this, six, six of these. And then the assembly for the motor. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside. Where are we? Now you have to be careful so you don't lose any screws. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have the motor right here. We have the motor. We have the extra cable for the motor. Okay, it connects and disconnects. Then we have this for the motor. All right, it's kind of the pin for the motor. It goes on like this. And then this for the, you know, connection between the motor and the rack all right so stay tuned we are going to start but here here let me talk about the screws we have four no we can go we have four of this screw we have uh, six no i think we need four okay six yeah you need just four of the nuts four of the screws and then two screws for the motor okay so i'm going to put them aside and then we will start okay so first of all i'm going to arrange this note that it has one one pin here and then double over here so i'm going to align all the single parts here okay then this single this double okay so this this and then this all right so we have one two three four five six no one two three four five six okay uh, okay seven let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, all right, all right. So they are supposed to be seven. Seven, all right. And then, if you take this, we have the this slot, all right? That shows as does the base. And then the upper part where we have the hole, okay? So it goes on like this. Okay, it goes on like this. What I can you check if it can show this way? 
right? It goes on like this. Can you hold one? Oh, okay, okay. It goes on like this. I you know we have the rough part, okay, and then we have the smooth yeah, part, all right? So the smooth part, you want the smooth part to be the inside, okay, and then the other side support, you want the smooth side to be inward like this inward like this all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this and then okay we'll do same for the second we do for the third we just push push it in simple right push simple push simple push Simple, 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 right? So it goes really like this, and then the brace support, okay, goes in here at the last, the, at the end. Okay, you just push it in, okay, and then over here also, it just goes in like that, yeah, and then. The same way, you know, this this part goes out. Okay, so we have okay, okay, yes. So that makes it firm and then stops it from. You know. Okay, so next, next we're gonna uh, guys. You know what? There's something I should have done. All right, guys, so, wow. Whew. I had a hard time doing this. I had to remove, put back, remove, put back. All right, so this was happening. You have the other end set up already. Okay, all the seven in it. And then this goes in this way, all right? So you have the rough part facing in, and then the smooth part out all right so like this okay and then the motor should be fixed this way all right so we have two screws holding yeah so we have two screws holding the motor you have two screws holding the motor you have two screws holding the motor and then like this. The motor is inside. Can't you see? Yes. So. All right. So. We have the smooth part out, and then I'm going to connect the motor this way, all right? This way. So we have a screw in. The third, and the last. Oh. 
Ну, Alright, so that's how it is. Right. Right. Okay. So you have the holes and then you have the four screws. Okay. And you have this facing the inner part. Alright. So I'm now going to fix this in. Okay. So this is going to slide in and then I start clicking Start clicking Start clicking And then now I'm going to lock with the side locks. Okay, so there we go. All right. So I'm going to turn it on and then we see how it works. Okay, so this is how it works. You have your motor going round, and then you have this sleeve going to the left and to the right. You have your egg tray starting here and there. All right, so this last part is not turning well because I broke one of the things so i'm just going to blow it up after the video and then everything is good to go all right right and then you have the trees tilting and tilting all right so you don't need much space all right this makes work so easy you just lay it flat in and then you can get a timer switch all right first i show us a timer switch you can get a timer switch to time this you know to turn every 30 minutes that's what i like to do or you can let it turn every hour all right yes yeah, so you can get this from my kit shop all these products from my kit shop this is a timer switch okay i have other videos showing how to wire and make this uh, and connect this timer switch okay and how to set it also it's very good piece of device you should get one all right so this turns continuously until you stop it or until you connect it to a timer system all right we have a lot more products in our shop my kit shop all right so check out our website our link and then uh, get this from our shop okay and please if you haven't liked this video can you like this video if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if you want me to do a video on any topic just let me know okay comment down below if